Hi there. We're going to continue on with another letter of the alphabet. Uh, for those of you that have aphasia or some form of communication language difficulty, I am so sorry that I'm doing these out of order. This is not me trying to be a dick. They just sort of come to me as they may. So we're going to do C is for celebration. Yeah, that's right. Celebrate. No, I'm going to stop singing because someone will just fucking complain. <laughs> Yeah, white man, no rhythm, inability to sing well. So, we're going to do a celebration. Uh, a friend of mine yesterday let me know that I should be celebrating um, my graduation from PT. Thank you for that individual um, letting me know I should be celebrating this. Um, yeah, I will do something to celebrate this. I'm not sure what, but so we're going to do a celebration. So, Yesterday, I had a BOGO, or maybe a twofer. Um, a, I had a state and change of care and a change, stay, stay, change in state of ability. Apparently, I can't fucking talk, though. Um, so, I had a transition, and for the purposes of our discussion, we're going to use the word transition to mean a change in state of care or a change in state of ability. So, I had a BOGO, a twofer, a bio, you know, I graduated PT. Right? And that's a pretty major accomplishment. Now, Think about this. Your stroke is going to be, by far and large, the most difficult event you're ever going to encounter. Right? Your brain tried to kill you. It wasn't successful, but it left you not the same person. Right? You, you're the only one doing the work. Right? That's not to say people aren't there to support you, because people will support you in your assault through your stroke as you start your recovery, and then you move into rehabilitation, and then you move into reintegration, right? You are the one doing the work. You are assaulting through each objective, finding the obstacles, breaching the obstacles, consolidating, reorganizing, looking for new work, right? Wash, rinse, repeat, right? That's, that's your job. The people supporting you, right, they're just there for support. Right? They might guide you from time to time, they might lead you from time to time, but they're not doing the work. Right? So these are successes that no one can take away from you. Right? No one knows how hard it was for you or for me to be able to do you know what? Simple fucking things. Like to put shoes on that have laces. I wore sandals almost exclusively from June 21st, you know, until today, I still prefer slip-on shoes or sandals. If they need laces, I'm going to be honest, I try to avoid them. Um, there's maybe 10 times uh, since June 21st that I've put on shoes that require laces and have actually done them up, right? So, you know... Or buttons, when I could actually finally button a shirt, uh, you know, or be able to walk around the block taking normally gated reciprocating strides, right, um, and being able to do things that are normal, right, things that before your stroke you didn't have to think about, you didn't fuss about, they weren't taxing, they didn't require effort, you just done did them, right. You just done did them. I guarantee, right? Now, getting out of bed in the morning can be a challenge, right? Do you even know how you're going to feel before you lift your head off the pillow, right? Were you able to sleep last night? Were you not able to sleep last night, right? Uh, is the light coming through the window making your head scream? Um, you know, do you have to learn how to eat again? What I mean by that is how to cut your food, right? I'm going to be honest, I lucked out. I lucked out for many reasons, right? My stroke experience may be drastically different than someone else's, and I know for a fact it is because I've seen people, my grandmother specifically, and clients I used to work with when I worked with brain injury uh, clients as my last job with mental health, and then people that I've seen either at physio or through the stroke group I belong to uh, here in my home city, I know people have had it far drastically worse than I have, and 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 I'm grateful that my experience was 
gentle is the word I want to use. It's, it's not the, the best word, but it's the word I'm going to use. Um, I'm grateful for people like Nancy, my physiotherapist. Nancy, I owe you a debt of gratitude that I can't repay, right? Uh, if I can find a way to contact the college and tell them what, what an advocate you are to your clients and patients, how professional you are, how challenging you are, the, you know, how you are a wonderful, beautiful woman, right, who ha has been there for me for the last three months. However, I do have one complaint, Nancy, if you're watching this, I'm going to have to tell the college, you do not make cookies often enough, and when you do, you do not have enough to share with everyone. No, that's really your only fault, right, this is the cookie thing, but we can learn to forgive that in time. Um, and you know what, you're, you as the individual stroke assaulter, you're going to have your own set of unique challenges. You're going to have your own unique set of obstacles. Thereby, you're going to have your own unique set of successes, which means you're going to have your own unique sets of celebrations, right? Now, every time you have a transition, meaning a state of change in care, change in ability, you need to celebrate that, right? Because this recovery, rehab, and reintegration journey, it, it, it's, it's a bitch, it's a complete bitch, right? Um, you know, because there are so many things when you start this journey that are completely uncertain. Even the experts don't know exactly how bad or how good or how mediocre or whatever it's going to be. They, they legitimately don't. Oh, your aphasia? It, it should clear up. Great, should, meaning you don't know. Um, you should have a comp you should have almost a one hundred percent recovery. Should almost, you know, um, you know your balance should improve, right? Not will, not would, not could, should, right? Um, so you're going to have to take the time to celebrate these things, these successes. Um, and I know to some people this may seem trivial, right? Well, I had to learn in some cases how to walk again, right? A normal reciprocated gait stride. Because what I wanted to do was take a normal stride with my left foot and about a half to three quarter stride with my right foot, right? They weren't reciprocating. I still have to remind myself that from time to time to take a reciprocating stride. Um, bending over, right? Fun fact, I'm still not that popular in the prison population because bending over can be an issue. Um, but it's getting better. And that why is that? Because I've been training my brain by doing things to bend over, right? I've been doing exercises that require me being bent over. Yes, that does not mean International Women's Day like Deadpool for right up Main Street does not mean that. Um, so... These are successes, these are victories that you need to celebrate that no one can ever take away from you. It's not a piece of paper, it's not alphabet soup after your name, right? <clears throat> it's not an award or a badge or a medal that can be pinned on you. It's a victory that you've had, right? Through the assaulting, through your stroke, right? Finding an obstacle, breaching it. Finding an obstacle, breaching it. You know, consolidate, reorg, look for new work. Consolidate, reorg, look for new work, right? And that's, that's what you've been doing since you've had your stroke. That's what I've been doing, right? Some of the victories were organic, right? You just had to give it time, right? Um, but it's still a victory, right? It required not as much effort on your part as, as you needed to, which is a great thing. Some of the victories, they were effort, right? It was work, right? And it was work that at some points was frustrating. Uh, work at other points was absolutely scary. Work at other points that was just mind-numbingly when can I get through this and make it work, right? So there are many things you're going to have to do throughout your stroke that seem kind of trivial to other people. There are many things throughout your stroke that you're going to want to give up on. You're like, fuck it, I'm not going to physio today. Like, I'm getting nothing out of it. What I'm going to say is this. If you honestly think you're not succeeding, if you're not advancing, if you're not getting gain for effort out of a certain rehab activity, 
go to your therapist, speech path, physical therapist, OT, whatever that may be, and ask them, what was I like two weeks ago? What was I like three weeks ago? Because at one point, Nancy reminded me that, you know, a month before that, or a month and a half before that, I was just an unadulterated shit show. I was a soup sandwich, right? There was just no way that what I was doing that day, I could have even remotely accomplished a month and a half, a month before, right? In some cases, two weeks, right? So don't get discouraged. And I, and I know that's an easy thing to say. Um, and I know it's an easy thing to do as well, because you're going to have days where you are going to show up to, I'm just going to use PT, because that was my longest one. <clears throat> you're going to show up to PT, and you're like, mm -mm, I don't want to do this today. Right? But you're going to have to find a way to muddle through. Right? Because if you choose to give up, right, you have no reason to bitch. You have given up. Right? Um, this is a fight that only you can do. Right? And no one else is going to step up and fill your boots. If you're not willing to, 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 to ruck up, get on the start line and move, <clears throat> there is no reason for you even to be anywhere near the start line. Right? There are days you're going to fumble. There's days you're going to foul. Right? There's days you're going to be completely on your chin strap. And that's what your supporters are there for, to help pick you up and get you back on the, get you back on the road, get you moving again. But when it comes to assaulting through the objective, finding an obstacle and breaching it, that is your job. Completely, totally, 100% your job. No one's going to be able to do that for you. That's a tasking that you've been given and you've been given alone and no one else can fulfill it. Right? The division of labor is you. The priority of work is you. Right? No one else can do anything about that. Right? So, when you have your successes, you need to take that moment when it's appropriate to celebrate that success, to validate that what you've done is real work. The accomplishment you have made is something that no one can take away from you. Okay? The accomplishment that you've worked for, be that for six weeks, six months, a year, right, whatever the case may be, was a goal that you set, right? And as I've said before, with stroke, when it comes to goal setting and planning with stroke, normally T for goal setting would be time. No, for stroke, it's target. What's my target, right? Because depending on the target, right, might be, might be fairly something simple. Well, simple, quote unquote, right? Easy to do for a completely able-bodied person who's not had a stroke, does not have a neurological injury of some kind, does not have some sort of physiological limitations, doesn't have a communication difficulty, fill in the gap, right? Um, the, the, the goal is now T for target, not T for time. Now, will you be time on target? Like, you can still kind of set a time. I want to make this happen in six months. But ultimately, the target is more important than the time, right? Because... You want to make sure that you spelled out, my target is to cut my own food, tie my own shoes, go for a three kilometer walk, be able to do 15 push ups, whatever, right? Well, normally you could set a target with a time. With stroke, tying your own shoes, that could take months, right? Because initially, you might try to tie up your shoes bent over, but you realize, oh, fuck, I can't bend over. So then you try to find a way to accommodate that so you don't have to be bent over to tie up your shoes. Well, then maybe it's now down to a manual dexterity issue where you don't have the dexterity to be able to handle thin laces. So you have to go and get thicker laces. Like, so there's, there's many things there, right? So, so it might take you six months to be able to learn to tie your shoes again, right? Um... So that's why target when goal setting for stroke is more important than time, right? Because just to walk around the block might take you a year, right? Just to walk around the block, to walk a kilometer and a half, a mile, right? Around your block might take you a year to do. So be it. But 
once you finally finish that block, uh, walk around the block and you've done it the way your target is indicated, this is the way I want to be able to do that task, you need to celebrate that bitch. Break out the cake, get out the streamers, and you need to have a party, right? Or maybe just a carrot cake muffin with a candle. Said no one ever because carrot cake is disgusting. I guarantee, right? So anyways, remember, for all your little journeys and all your little successes throughout the journey of your stroke, you need to celebrate each individual success because it's something you've earned that no one can take away. Not at all. And for those of you that have been watching my channel for the last three and a half months, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. If you know someone that's going through their own journey of either supporting a stroke assaulter or assaulting through the rehab, rehabilitation, uh, recovery, reintegration of their stroke, please recommend the channel to them. They might get some value out of this. And for those of you that either notice either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, well, they are facial droop, inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all, uh, slurred, stuttering speech, the inability to smile equally effectively at all, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, general body weakness, weakness on one side, or inability to stand unaided, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.